Today's lesson is on how to create headings and subheadings in AirStory because if you just type into AirStory, then it won't automatically create them and then you'll have to recreate everything in uh, WordPress. So here are these bolded areas are um, documents or headings that, that could be headings, but when you click on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to find whatever you want to be a heading and you're going to click on it and click this little button, the little plus symbol, and then drop it down. You'll want to determine whether it's a heading one, heading two, etc. In this instance, I am going to make this a heading one. And then I am going to make this a heading two. And let's go ahead and make these heading threes. Go ahead and make that a heading three. Um, I would probably also make this a heading. I'll make that a heading two. And I would probably also make this a heading as well. I'll make that, actually I'll make this a heading three. And this will be a heading two. I'll make this also a heading two. As well. I'm going to change this and make this a heading three. And I'll make this a heading two. So this is how you create the subheadings directly inside of AirStory. So that it just makes your life a little bit easier when you move the file over to WordPress.